a heated back and forth in a Hamilton court today as a defense lawyer asked the key witness and survivor of a Stony Creek murder if her quote moral compass is a little off kilter. Emily Taylor has been following the trial for us and joins us live from Johnson Pinka Courthouse with the latest. Good evening, Emily. Good evening, Matt. Lucy Lee and Oliver Carafa are accused of killing 39 year old Tyler Pratt and shooting his girlfriend, Jordan Romano. Today was her third day of testimony, and the cross examination has begun. So now the defense is looking at all of the evidence she gave and all the details about the night of the shooting. After nearly three days of testimony, the Crown asked its final questions to Jordan Romano. How does the night of February 28, 2021, the night she was shot, impact her now? She told the court, I live every day with anxiety and PTSD. She called her recovery two months of excruciating pain as she had to relearn how to walk and stand. I was so angry, she told the court. I think the worst part was mourning him. Romano is referring to her boyfriend, 39-year-old Tyler Pratt, who was shot six times and killed at an industrial lot in Stony Creek the same night. Lucy Lee and Oliver Carafa are facing first-degree murder charges in Pratt's death and attempted murder in the shooting of Romano. The four had gone into business together, and Pratt was expecting to be given some of the profits the following day. In cross-examination, the defense painted a picture of Romano and Pratt's lifestyle of luxury, funded by money from dealing drugs. Romano testified Pratt could make up to a million dollars a day selling cocaine. The defense asked Romano several times if Pratt ever got angry, saying, do you think Tyler could scare other people when he got upset and suggesting he needed to be pretty tough in his line of work? They suggested Pratt was intimidating the night he was killed. Each time, Romano denied, saying she never feared for their safety. Lee's defense lawyer, Liam O'Connor, didn't dispute that Romano is a victim, telling her, you were shot in the most horrific of manners. Nobody should suffer the loss of a loved one, should they? But O'Connor also asked if Romano would agree that her moral compass is a little off kilter, saying she seemed to laugh off Pratt's drug dealing. The lawyer and witness went back and forth, Romano finally saying, I think highly of myself, so I don't want to say that my moral compass is off, but yeah, I've done some shady things. O'Connor also tried to distance Lee, his client, from Carafa and Pratt's friendship, agreeing with Romano that she and Lee met fewer than 10 times. Romano has also filed a civil lawsuit against Oliver Crafa and Lucy Lee, as well as a third person involved in the case, trying to recoup some of the $470,000 they supposedly lost in these business dealings. Her cross-examination continues tomorrow. Back to you.